Alright, I was about to make this video about two hours ago, but then I started drawing on my bench and it was so fun I just couldn't help myself. Anyway, uh, these are two batteries which I thought were going to fit my camcorder. However, uh, this one is uh, incompatible uh, because I didn't read the eBay description right. Uh, I only after I purchased it and noticed it didn't work saw that it was only suitable for like three of the very low-end models in the range which don't care about uh, battery monitoring uh, whereas uh, this is the original battery which uh, as you can see has uh, an identical form factor in every conceivable way same for the uh, lesser size uh, and works just fine uh, so the issue is of course that uh, uh, this one's got the uh, fourth pin or rather third pin the D pin connected whereas this one, while it does have a connector in there, probably doesn't utilize it whatsoever. And so I figured we'd uh, try and take this thing apart and see uh, how it works, or rather what's inside to make it uh, not work. I'm guessing there's just going to be nothing at all con connected to this pin, or perhaps just a resistor or something. Uh, so let's just uh, use violence to get inside. It's a tough one. All right, there we go cracked open, so what do we have? Well, that's a fancy looking PCB I must say that seems to be that seems to be an actual big chip in there, let's have a closer look right on the soldering iron, uh, the number of the board is uh, ZKC as in Charlie VBK 090 slash 180 slash yeah, what's that? 360. Yeah, 360. And it's labeled 16, so that probably means 2016. Uh, well, let's just take this thing apart and see what the actual chip is made out of. There we go, PCB out of the way, and we seem to have a rather anonymous chip. It's labelled D79F9211 1535EB460, and that's all there is to it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that. I can't read it on the viewfinder anyway. Well, that is a massive chip for something that's apparently entirely dumb. Hmm. Well, perhaps there are two different standards for the cameras for batteries fit, and I haven't actually checked whether or not this battery works in the... Or I haven't actually checked if the battery that fits in my camera would work in the ones that this fits in, but... It would be rather stupid, even for a camera manufacturer, to have the same battery you know, incompatible with certain models of his stuff. Mm, the little I see is labelled 5575. And these three are obviously just uh, MOSFETs for protection. That's quite a nifty little board. I didn't mind it at all. So, let's have a look at the actual cells, see if there's anything in there. They, it is a 3.6 volt battery, so they are they just wired up in parallel. It looks very similar to the uh, Canon battery I tore down some time ago from my other camera. In fact, I wonder if it's not an absolutely identical layout with the same cells. 
except in parallel rather. Oh no, oh no, it's entirely different. And we actually have four cells in this one. Can we get any data on them? We have. Yeah, this doesn't look very, very useful. HL seven o two eight three six AL one six o four AYA. On that side, uh, is there anything else on the other side, perhaps? Ugh, this tape is awful, but uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything written on those sides either. It's like some quite anonymous cells. I am curious. I did leave it in the camera for charging. Uh, pretty much overnight, so let's just see if we can get a voltage. It would be kind of weird if the camera would actually charge the battery uh, without using it. Yeah, that's down there, fully charged. So, <laughs> my camera will charge the battery, but it won't run off it. Thank you, Panasonic. Okay. It is weird that this circuit would not work. I mean, that, that has to be some kind of processor and a very overkill processor for the application to boot. Hmm. Oh well, there you go. That's a teardown of a... Uh, Cameron Zeno uh, CSHCV3110MC uh, part number, uh, manufacturer's part number uh, Volkswagen VBT380, that's the Panasonic number, which it seems to kind of replace in some circumstances. Rated 3 amp hours. Yeah. I could test that, but I can't be bothered. Alright, scratch that, because we can indeed be bothered. Uh, and here are the results. I'm pleasantly surprised. So the test conditions I ran were just uh, a full charge cycle. I charged it up to 4.2 volts with my lab power supply. And uh, then I set my constant current load to do a discharge cycle to 2.5 volts at uh, 2 amps. And uh, the result is quite nice at 3.35 amp hours and a very nice quite flat uh, discharge curve and trailing off just uh, at what's that three volts perhaps pretty much exactly what you'd like to see out of a nice quality lithium iron battery so i'm not i'm not disappointed in that at all these cells seem to be of a quite decent quality this capacitor should be quite well reflected in the runtime of the camera as well since they are rated for well mine says is 7.7 .7 watts on the back so that's gonna make you know just about two amps on average across the range of battery voltage it's going to be a bit high for super low end but yeah lithium batteries don't quite care so that's a nice result very happy to see it at least now i know that i didn't get skinned of a battery i can't use do not attempt to disassemble open or service replace only with a battery pack designated for this product do not crush puncture short external contact or dispose of in fire or water manufacture by Shenzhen he, Henzen's Technology Company Limited. Oh, that's a boring sticker. It's written in proper English. English. Oh. oh well. Entirely useless battery. That's twenty-one euros sixty-nine cents wasted for me. But I hope you found it a bit interesting. If you're you have if you have a Panasonic HC V one ten to one thirty or a HC v710 this battery might be very well suited for you in fact if you want it uh, send me a message and i might just, might just send it to you thank you for watching cheerio I, and we're not taking the original battery apart in part because it's my only working battery for this camera and in part because i still have warranty on it and i'd like to utilize that in case it fails prematurely sorry